All right. Hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to the continuation of our Railway Empire 2 campaign mission revisit series. Now, we are ready to start mission four, or chapter four, I should say. So let's go to chapter four. This one is called the Sunset Route. I'm not going to read through all this stuff. If you want the immersion experience, go watch the first time I played this. Uh, I'll put the link for it right up here. Uh, we're just going to play it. But we do start in Beaumont, Texas. We have 19, that's the usual number of cities, 52 rural businesses. It's 1874, and this is really all about connecting Texas with New Orleans over here. Okay, let's keep going. So we're, we have to use the lady, which is fine. And I've kind of reconsidered. I, I realized the first time I played this, I was mistaken. I was thinking this all new buildings within a city only applied to the special buildings, but it's the factories too. So the factories are half price and all the, you know, library and um, university, all that would be half price. Upgrades are cheaper, so she's really pretty good. She gets a penalty right up front because her personnel costs more. But she's really a pretty good character. The only thing that I personally don't care for about her is that you're a penalty up front and no up immediate upfront benefit, right? And that's what I'm looking for with these characters is something that gets me off to a good start. But we can do just fine with her. All right, so we are going to use manual signals. I really like them. And... Um, we will be founding cities, one to be exact, and we will be buying our way into several regions. All right, let's go. 1.3 factor means it's not difficult. Two and a half million, uh, two competitors. Oh, and I kind of forgot, let me go back. I forgot one thing, our ranking. We've played this before, we did just fine. In fact, here's the problem, we did really well. Um, here's the guys who are just killing it. Hats off to all of them. If we find me, I'm here at 104, which is solid 99th percentile, right? It's a very good score. And I have actually played this like three times now trying to beat it. I can't. I, I can't beat that score. This seems to be about as well as you can play using all the techniques that I'm showing. So um, whether we beat this or not, I don't know. We're going to try. But uh, we are going to try to do something a little different and something interesting. So there's Haji, our buddy Haji. Let's go look at our friends. We've got Blah Ray. Look at this. Blah Razor's 33. Very good. Uh, JVP, Steely Door, Just PD, Twilly, DA Flame, Yo Hedgehog, and Magistan. So everybody's doing great. And I think now if we find me with friends on, yeah, here we go. And we'll see Colholm, Toloic, and Vlad. And if we look at this, 130 represents the 99th percentile. So Colholm and Up are all in the 99th percentile, and Tolowick and Vlad are 98th percentile. That's really good playing, so well done, all of you. But enough of that. Let's go play this again. Continue, continue, start the game. We're going to skip all that, all those niceties. We're going to tell him to just shut up. Okay. Now, let's uh, let's do our personnel first. We know we need to do that. Double training, 120% on our welfare. That gives us a nice, high quality, high efficiency without spending too much money. Plus, I can remember this. There are other combinations you can use, but I can always remember this one, so I go with it. So there we go. Just double check, make sure they're all good. They are. Let's look at our trains real fast, but I can tell you we're going to be running the uh, Forkno for our passenger lines, and we'll be running the Brooks Mogul for most of our lines, all of our freight, and any if we run any automatics, they'll be Brooks Moguls. Okay. So let's look at our task. Connect five rural businesses. We can do this before we come off pause and grow Austin, Houston, Beaumont to 90,000. And they're at 60 now. All right. So here we are. Remember, we kind of inherited a railroad. Here's some little private railroads just kind of in the way. 
We're Beaumont, Houston, Austin. And we own this right in here. So of course the first thing we're gonna do is delete that track and delete that track. Are we gonna delete this? Uh, we, might keep, we might keep that station there, we'll, we'll see. Now we have a weird station if you remember here. We have the station here in Austin that we aren't allowed to delete, right? And it will be eventually the connection the, the, the scenario, you know, the whole premise of this is that'll be the connection to this and then over this way, you know, going out, out here to um, the west to connect to the sunset route. So we have to use that one. Now we've got a competitor right here. We're definitely going down into San Antonio, Corpus Christi, and Brownsville. You can see we've got a connection bonus here, a couple here, one here. So we're going to get those. They're not gigantic. Brownsville is pretty good, but the rest of them are kind of rel relatively small. So I'm going to purchase rights to South Texas so that we can go in here and buy this guy uh, so that we can delete that station in Austin, delete that track, and actually we're going to have to delete. Are we going to have to delete this? We may, may not have to delete this. We'll see. We may be able to keep that one. Uh, we're probably going to end up buying this one down here and get it out of the way as well. But what I want to do is set up a six city cluster um, and center it around Austin. So if we look at all of our tasks, so first of all, we, we saw these two, but let's look at all of our tasks. Because remember, this is a replay. We know a revisit. We know what's coming. And I'm not going to pretend I don't. All right, our task four, mission four, or chapter four, sorry. Here's the first two we saw. Grow Houston, 10 goods in Austin. So we want to grow Austin. Uh, produce planks ourselves, private roots. I'm not going to read through all these. I've looked at them so many times, I'm sick of them. Um, but it, the general theme is Austin, 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 a little bit of Houston, New Orleans, and a bunch of planks and steel that we have to deliver to Beaumont and New Orleans to set up this big bridge across the swamp in New or uh, Louisiana. And then we have to grow six cities to ADK. We're gonna to try to grow them all down here in Texas and buy out our competitors and connect all the cities on the network. There are 19, there are really 18 cities plus the uh, potential to, to found Oklahoma City, which we will at some point. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow this. I've expanded this out. We're going to do a six city cluster and we're going to um, try to run enough trains. I, I have a tendency to forget my clusters and not run enough trains. So we're going to try to remember to revisit them. And Steve, uh, thank you for pointing that out. All right, so I said we want to make Austin the center of the world. So what we're going to do is put, hmm, we're gonna put a warehouse in Austin. It's gonna hold one, two, three, four, five, six goods, okay? Beer and meat included. And all of our cities are gonna to go to Austin. So we're gonna connect Houston to Austin. Now Austin, we're gonna have it be one, two, three, four, it's going to connect, well, let me think about this. One, two, three, yeah, yeah. We're going, to, we're going to make Austin a big station. This is extremely expensive because we're paying for all those, all those platforms. But we only have to do it once. That's the good news. So there's Houston to Austin. And on this end, we can put our switches. Actually, in fact, I take that back. We can save a little money here up front. We can go like this. We can do... a single connection, because we're just going to run Austin to Houston. And then we can go back here to Beaumont and we can say okay coming out of coming out of your single connection I want you to go down here and connect to 
to Austin. We can double track this back, but only use the one platform in Beaumont. Okay, then we're going to want Oh, let's see, we're going to want this to come out. Like this. And have four tracks to serve. Two cities and the uh, goods that come in from the north. And these four tracks will serve connections to the south. So we'll have connection to, well, hmm, still want, I, I kind of want the same kind of deal though. I want to come out. I don't know if it's going to let us build two sets of four like this. I hope it will. I hope we can get a four. And. It doesn't like it. Ah, come on. What if we turned it a little bit? What if we just said, you know, we're we're turning, so let's just let's just turn. What if we turned like this? And hopefully this is way longer than it needs to be to get four wide here. Well, not much. Long oh, jeez, Pete. How about um, two? It'll do two, and here it will do, oh man, it wants to run forever. It's too tight a curve, that's the problem. The problem with all this is the curve is too tight. I think curving it was the right, you know, moving it away from here was the right idea, but maybe overdid it a little bit. Maybe like that. Now I want four tracks. There we go. There, that's that. We can live with that. That'll work. All right. So that tells us how all this track needs to go in here. So we can run in from these guys. Ah, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, you, you, thank you, thank you. Okay, you can run in. To those. By the way, I told you I've played this same one like um, three or four times, trying to beat the score. By this is a, and I've done similar to this. I mean, I've done a six city, but never like this. This is a different setup, and I'm happy about that because I like to do something different. It keeps the game from being boring for me. So I don't. We don't need. I don't see any purpose in that bridge. Well, it is trying to level. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It isn't. It isn't at all. Now you come out like this and run parallel to that and then turn. Now, why does it feel the need to make that bridge? That's weird. But we run it parallel a little longer and it hooks up nicely. So there we go. And that would be this side.
Okay, that's uh, those guys. And now we've got another bonus up here. We can set up this one we know we want. And he can run into here like that. And like that. We certainly want the grain coming in here. and the sugar. And we can save a small amount of money by using that same station. Not a lot, but a, a little bit. And there's the task done. We got all of our, we got two, three, four, five, uh, five rural businesses connected. Good for us. And let's make this workable track okay now I think we'll make Austin, our meat provider. Beaumont, our grain uh, beer provider. Yeah. Okay. So now, why am I saying that? What does that mean? Well, first of all, let's do this. We've got a bonus here, so let's make sure we run this in. And we run, run full lines of lumber. And we're going to run the uh, Brooks Mogul. And then over here, let's make sure, let's set up a couple of lines running into Austin. And let's do one that prioritizes cattle running full. And a second one that prioritizes corn. Can run out of the same line, same platform. Okay. Oh, and research. Talk on it. Um, bigger bonds. Oh, I was scared that that would be there. Track construction. Sometimes that's been open and that would make me sick. Uh, bigger bonds definitely want that. Okay. Bigger bonds will take. And more packages aren't going to matter right up front. Um, well being, that actually matters. We've raised that up. Don't care about maintenance posts, really. Uh, bridge construction, yeah, we'll take that. Okay, and then we'll, next one we will go for, I, shoot, we're gonna take the well, well-being. Okay, work our way backwards. All right, so we got these two, we got this. We need to get grain and sugar running. Uh, here to here. And here to here. And then to turn up the demand, we need these other cities going. So we need a line from San Antonio to Austin I'm going to make it freight only. And we're also going to tell it that you do not carry meat. Austin is going to be the meat provider, right? Okay. Don't carry meat and go. Then we're going to have a line from Houston 
here that's going to be freight. And we're going to tell it, you do not carry beer. Then we're going to have a line from Beaumont to Beaumont to Austin, and it can carry beer. Uh, let's go get some more money. Let's go get some more money, he said. There we go. 3.49. Uh, 3.49, we can get this one and still do another one. 9.21. Now, this line here, well, that's Houston. We want the new line. Beaumont to Austin. Freight. Uh, you can carry beer. Or you're going to be our beer provider. And then we want to go ahead down here. And buy it. We're gonna. I think we're gonna buy this one because it's in the way. We could keep this station, but it's at an awkward. It's really awkward. So uh, we're gonna get rid of it. And this. And this. Okay. Then we're gonna have a line. A station. Like this. That goes. like so to Corpus Christi and then we're going to have a line that goes from Brownsville like so and we're going to have a line from Corpus Christi what am I doing um, a train line from Corpus Christi to Austin that does not carry beer a freight line okay and then we're going to have a line from Brownsville to Austin that does not carry meat. Okay. Then, I haven't forgotten them. We need to signal all this. I want to get all the tracks set up first. so weird I don't see any I keep expecting to see signals on this we did set it to manual didn't we or did I forget it looks to me like it's doing automatic well crap well, that's alright we can do automatic well shoot Thankfully, this particular design, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. All right. So we're out of money. I think we got enough money to put in like one supply tower. And let's just let this rock and roll and get us some bonuses and see what happens here. 
Now all those trains coming from all those cities are running empty. For a moment. All right. Now. This one will get us a bonus when it brings something back. It might take a minute for there to actually be something here for that city. But our warehouse should start seeing stuff coming in. Did we put a train on this yet? Uh, we did. Why isn't it doing anything? We did make it run full, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, I, it's... Well, it's automatic, but it doesn't matter. It's coming from a, a freight line. All right, so now what we have to work on is our frequencies of all these raw materials to make sure we've got enough to feed all this. And here's a trade-off with this design. With this, I really like this. It's, it has a certain beauty to it, but it's certainly going to make Austin grow. The problem with it now is because we have San Antonio, Corpus Christi, Brownsville is not a problem because it's so far away. But San Antonio is going to be the second one to get. We're going to fill up Austin, right? So like this corn, for example. We, and we've already seen it. If we, look at, if we look at this, see the grain? It's all for Austin until you get out here. Now it's San Antonio. And what's going to happen is it's going to keep hauling for San Antonio until it's happy. And it's going to go to the next city out in the... Uh, you know, out of way, and it, it, it'll probably be Houston. Houston would be the next closest, but then Corpus Christi's liable to beat out Beaumont. So we could think about turning these guys off, but I don't want to. We're just going to let it run. I want a six city cluster. So the other thing we could do, everybody's coming here. We could put maintenance everywhere, which we'd want to, but I'm going to put maintenance right here and make it 100%, okay? So one maintenance actually can do this entire system. Now that does slow things down here slightly. So we'll watch that and as we get bigger, we'll think about knocking it down here, replacing it with a dispatch hall and then moving maintenance out to all the other step places, right? If you notice, I just put down like four uh, supply towers and it actually hits everybody. Now we'll, we'll want more than that. We don't want everybody slowing down those towers, but Right now, I think it's pretty good. Okay, so I want to look at frequency for, for a minute. So I've got this set it and forget it thing going here. And I've got to print out this in front of me so I can reference it. So what I've done is look at your first few items and say, okay, we want grain for our cities plus for beer. We want lumber for our cities plus planks plus furniture. We want sugar and fruit for our cities plus for liquor. We want milk for our cities plus for dairy. So if we think about how much do you need each city, that's what basically what this multiplier is. How much of each of these items do you need? What kind of demand will you end up with in each city? And then for each cluster size, what frequency do I have to hit to make to keep everybody happy? You can see these are really fast frequencies. Three, five, three, five, four, five, ten, five. I mean that that's that's hauling stuff in there. So I want to work toward that. And I think we'll probably start with like uh, half of that and maybe work 5, 10, 5, 10. That, that sounds good. So let's do that. Let's try to get our, our um, lumber line here to be a 5 frequency. It's 4.4. .4. It's actually good. Okay. How about you over here? We want you to be a 5. We want at least another train on that. And I think the other thing we'll do on this one is we're going to run a direct line. But since we're getting our beer from Beaumont, we can really improve all that delivery of stuff and make sure that our beer production stays up by setting up a line ah, that goes directly... to Beaumont out of track two is 
soon as we have a couple dollars. There we go. That'll keep that going now. We would like to have like a five or ten ish for the uh, corn one. Uh, well, it's it's good. How about sugar, sugar is back here. Ah, sorry. Sugar is twelve. Give it another try. Now see this train here at Brownsville it still hasn't taken anything back because nothing has gone here for Brownsville but if we look at this see there we go we've got some wood coming in for Brownsville uh, as this stuff picks up let's put another train on this uh, Beaumont line since it's our beer uh, carrier uh, We'll run this up to two and notice this is not a great way to make early money this is not an economic engine approach if you will this is a grow the city in a cool way approach <laughs> that's all i can say it is all right uh tunnels don't care so much about tunnels uh well we're out here let's skip the uh, packages And see how the growth is going. Austin 2, San Antonio 2, Houston 2, Beaumont 1. I see a problem right here. Oh, we don't have signals here. I could have sworn I put signals there. Guess not. Okay, so now we're starting to see growth everywhere. We're starting to make some money. Now we want to have the money makers because we're going to need a lot of money for this. This is not a money maker setup. This is a grow grow a bunch of cities setup. We want to make some money too. So let's go with a new station. Uh, technically, we wouldn't need another one, but of course we're going to put another one. And we're going to call this one uh, Beaumont passenger and then we're going to put a station in Houston and we'll call it Houston passenger and then we'll run some track between oh and this is where it sucks that we're not playing manual this is really why I wanted to play manual Let's do uh, anchor this down and build this up. Ah. We just need one one piece of track here. We're going to put in, let's just start the train first, then we'll put the stuff in. We're going to go here to here with an express line with the fork no and the two fancy cars. 
and get that going. See, we're getting warnings because we're running automatic signals. If you run manual signals, you don't get those warnings for uh, single direction track or whatever it is. Shoot, this really sucks. I don't know if we have the... Can we switch? I don't think we can. Options. I don't think... I think you have to set it this way at the beginning. I don't think there's an option for... No, nah, there isn't. <sighs> that sucks. We're going to have to use extra uh, platforms on this because we don't have the manual signals. But our money will go up now. We'll start making some money from that. We'll put another station in, in Austin. Let's work on that. Let's put a station in Austin that can come out the back. Yeah. Kind of like that. And then we can lay track that goes over that and comes in here at platform two. That'll work. Oh, maybe before we go there, we want to put a repairs in Houston. And then we want to add a post office in Houston. And then we want to run add dining in post office in um, Beaumont. Restaurant and post office. Rest office. <laughs> rest off. A rest office and a post restaurant. We got some research. Uh, all right, we finished already. Yeah, well, that wasn't bad. Early June. That's pretty good for that one. And it's a good framework for going forward. So now we've got our new task, Grow Houston, we're already set up for it. Ten Goods in Austin, we're set up for that pretty well. Uh, Research-wise, we'll go get uh, more packages. And uh, we got the, let's do price of new locomotives. And then we'll, come, we'll save up for 200 for the lower supplies. Speaking of that, while I'm thinking of it, let's put supplies on this line. All right, so um, there we go. That's a pretty good start. Oh, look at this. We got them all growing. Double clicks on three of them. Single clicks on three of them. We've got them all growing. They're all going to Austin. And what we'll work on now, let's just see. Uh, yeah, we'll, we're, we will keep watching Austin to see what can come up next, like veggies will be in there at some point. And we'll think about how we want to do that. Hmm. Hmm. We may just do Austin again. But anyway, uh, veggies, milk, whatever. Um, but, but then we'll, we'll keep working on adding our money makers, right? These, these, uh, these lines here, which, you know, we could have done first, I suppose, would have been just a, a, a dandy way to do it. Um, so he's making a little bit of money, and as the cities grow, he'll make more and more. So that's a pretty good start right there, and it's different. I, I do like it. It's, uh, it's a star distribution system out of Austin with a six-city cluster. I don't think we've I'm not sure we've done anything exactly like that before, but I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. I hope you saw something there that will help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe, and join us for our next Railway Empire 2 video. Thank you.